Envoy's electric motors are propelling Norwegian boats to some of the fastest speeds achieved by electricity alone. Now the builder is turning its focus to America. Evoy, a portmanteau for electric voyage, has been in the business of creating 100% green emission-free experiences on the water since 2018. The company focuses solely on propulsion, building a series of electric motors for inboard and outboard applications, and in 2022 secured $7.12 million in capital from an ongoing series of investment rounds, with $2.97 million alone coming from European Union Innovation Council. The company recently announced a partnership with Aqua Superpower, which is in the process of rolling out a dockside network of fast charging stations around the world. The largest beneficiary by far will be commercial operators that have already adopted electric propulsion fleet-wide, as well as most of Evoy's current clientele. American boaters may have heard of Evoy because in summer of 2019, its demo boat, Evoy 1, after being christened by the Prime Minister of Norway, claimed the unofficial record as the fastest production electric boat in the world with a speed of 55 knots. Evoy founder and CEO Leif A. Stravason, I think I'm saying that right, says the next generation Evoy Explorer can go even faster, and it's not even fully optimized yet. Evoy's headquarters in Norway looks like it belongs to a Silicon Valley startup with as many programmers and developers wearing t-shirts and turtlenecks as there are mechanical technicians wrenching on motors. Behind his desk, Stavostran has a map of the world affixed to the wall with thumbtacks marking places of interest. He says he hopes to have Evoy's first electronic systems arrive on U.S. shores sometime in 2023 after initiating dialogues with certain builders that he declined to name. Half of the traffic to Evoy's website, he adds, is from the United States. Evoy offers its inboard and outboard motors in a series of progressively powerful wind-inspired names, the Lowly Breeze, the 200-horsepower Gale, and the supercharged 300-horsepower Storm. The sleek aerodynamic Goldfish X9, equipped with the company's Hurricane motor, a 400 horsepower inboard stern drive powered by twin 63 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate batteries, is Evoy's most powerful to date. Given that the energy density of lithium ion cells has markedly improved while lightweight composite materials have become less expensive, Evoy now has competitors racing to win the green revolution. I would be really worried by now if we didn't have any competitors. One of our main barriers is building trust. We need people to trust that this is a feasible and viable product, right? But it's hard to do that alone, so we welcome them, his competitors. With a 120 kW DC charge, your boat could be powered to 85% battery capacity in just 45 minutes. Still longer than fueling, but uh, not too bad, really, for an electric charge. And the average 30 to 50 amp dock pedestal can easily charge your batteries overnight or provide a little juice if you're in a pinch. The Explorer 1 offers a whisper-quiet ride that an electric boat can only afford, not to mention it lacks a fuel tank, an internal combustion engine, and thousands of parts that can fail at any moment's notice. This boat could manage a top speed at 58 knots, which is pretty quick for an electric boat, I'll have to say. The only deal is that you really can't maintain that speed for too long because the system limited us to prevent from straining the batteries. The boat was configured with two screens. The starboard screen was a chart plotter, while the port screen tracked the duration of the time left before recharging. At 50 knots, it was 22 miles, and at 35 knot cruising speed, it was around 28 miles. The screen also tracked battery temperatures across two gauges and the overall level of charge. At much lower speeds, say five knots, we could take Evoy's boats more than 60 miles before the battery turned red. Kind of reminds me of returning to the age of sail. Range anxiety is an issue for electric boat buyers. That's why builders are experimenting with underwater foils and hull structures, trying to wring every available ounce of juice they can out of the batteries. And the technological advancements don't stop there. These boats have a brain, an Internet of Things processor that sends more than 500 data points 
every second to a cloud-based interface. Back in Evoy's offices, software developers can look at the metrics and extrapolate a number of things, such as predictive maintenance and anomaly detection. Evoy's first client pulled a jellyfish into his seawater intake, a problem detected by one of the analysts who noted the abnormal increase in temperature in the onboard cooling system. On the user side interface, boaters can view the trip log and the location of the vessel on the map. You can start and stop charging on demand and set the desired amount of charge. Coming soon could be a charging log, a geofence, alerts, and the ability to preheat the cabin and book service appointments. Well, that's a look at the Evoy from Norway. It's an interesting design and really looks like it goes fast, so it doesn't look boring. This does have some pretty neat features, but to tell you the truth, when I look at electrification, I keep coming back to golf carts. So, I don't know, that's just me. If you made it this far through the video, I really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll catch you on the next video.